emergencies. I came all the way here to purchase some goods, but I've noticed that the natives here aren't exactly friendly. So hey, you folks, Brian Barnett got you here. Um, and welcome back to, uh, welcome back one and all to Tales of Destiny. In the last episode, well, we pretty much got here. And, um, yeah, I also want to point out that, well, you know, Google can do its thing too, sometimes, and, uh, we never know when that can do a thing. But, either way, I've also had problems with the mic system things that you uh, with other recorders too so it's not just this one I've had a problem with other recorders and um, I should also point out as well as that yeah I was right but the first session I actually did or the you know since I woke up I was also the last session for Friday either way So I guess that's all he had to say. Someone's in here, I don't know. Jeff's in. Uh, I'm not worried about doing anything particularly here. It's a jar. I wonder what's... Is there something down here? Yep, this is about where I was at. I don't... You know. Bill Girl. Making a bed is hard work. I wish the customers left tips more often. So, I don't remember if this was before or after but I, you know this is pretty much it so yeah we're gonna explore around uh, Cherrick Harbor yeah. yeah all there says let me tell you something young man this land is a, this land I mean, this island was a penal colony that a bunch of foreigners created out of convenience. Although it's an independent country now, but treated about the same as in, as in ancient times. As in ancient times, this island will never be prosperous until we break free from your curse. Your curse, okay. Whatever that's supposed to mean. So yeah, and then last episode we were also in Clovis Harbor. You know, anyway. Grandma says, A terrible doesn't make our life better. We the people of Cavalese can only trust those who have been born and raised here. We'd prefer to place our trust in our own people rather than trust some fickle goddess imported from a foreign country. Wow. <clears throat> Not easy to break your voice out of Oh, Desert Storm. Armor Sharp. Arm Sharp Desert Storm. Ooh. That's actually a name for something else, anyway. But it's just as hot outside and cool inside. That's the way it, it ought to be. Eh. I, I, I guess I can see what you mean by that. Shop figure. This is an audio equipment shop. Yeah, it better be. <laughs> um. Alright, we'll buy a few of these. For now, ruin bottle. This is the first one I've ever seen. The liquid in this bottle will help you identify unknown objects. Okay, cool. I'll buy a five of those for now. Yeah, right, we're good on spectacles. Holy bottle. This bottle contains a holy essence that wards off enemies. We're good about four of those for now. I got plenty of bread, cheese, okay. Okay, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Put this... Welcome! Oh, you're strangers! Are you buying anything? No, we thought we'd just look around. Of course we're gonna buy some. Ooh, silver mace. <laughs> uh, we're only gonna buy two of them. No. One. Velden. Wow, Rapier Velden. Looks like it might be, I don't know, better. Then there's also the Battle Axe. An axe made for battle. Alright. A cloak. Amber cloak. A 
cloak adorned with amber decorations. Ooh, even better. Ho oh, ho. Oh. oh, we've already got a couple of those. Never mind. Ooh, an iron helm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We can get an, one for Mary. Ooh, yes. Finally. The iron. Ooh, iron gloves. <laughs> it's too bad they don't wear them, so. Alright, so we're gonna get it about five of those for now. And yes, it'll eat up our money, but hey, it's worth it. You should be grateful that I'm doing business with you. Uh, whatever. We just bought though, so whatever. I don't even care, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Either way, let's get this on, shall we? Give some better equipment to you. Hell yeah. It's at least by four. Yeah, most of the time I'll definitely, you know on it because I'm not really sure myself so Veldan no I don't what's a what's a Veldan yeah no it's not as powerful as that right so Yep, and we got something even better than leather glove. That's one, two, three. I'm sorry, 49, 50, 51, 52. Yep, four. So, yep. Wow. You mean the defense is five on it, but that's the math's wrong on it about how much you would be getting on her. So. What is that? Ooh, that seems better. That's also not bad. Fine saber is pretty good too. Ooh, but it's not as bad as the hit, or not as good for the hit. Fine saber. Ooh, the rapier is good for uh, hit, but it sucks for everything else. Short. Ooh, short sword is actually way better than anything on hit when you try to equip it. Ooh, look at that. Silver Mace. Attribute Light. The building is pretty good too, but it sucks on Slash. So I'm gonna go with... Uh... Well, I could do that. and Or I could do the building. Silver Mace will probably be better since it's got Light. I actually happen to be a fan of axes, but let's see, what was it compared to the Silver Mace 129? Eh. You wouldn't think you'd be able to wear a shield with two uh, handed axes. But apparently, you know, the thing is, people can do that, but it's just the way they do it in certain ways. It, it, there's a certain way to do it. You got to be able to, to uh, you know, handle it that way. Okay. Okay. You got the highest stuff now. I just need to give you. Oh, blue ribbon. And that, but the blue ribbon would be better. Mm. Now I'll give you the iron helm because that's even better. I didn't know you could equip that. Alright. Now, Ruti. Wow, look at that difference. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 48, 49. That's, uh, hang on a minute. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. That's 10. So it goes up by 10. That's not bad. Okay. Which is good. Get. Yeah, I forgot to give her the, yeah, the iron glove. 
I'm gonna give you definitely not that. Attribute is lightning, which is not bad. Definitely gonna give you the blue ribbon, better than that silly old ink crap. So either way, there you go. Water, huh? Didn't know their attribute there. Uh, earth. Huh. Doesn't even use earth, but I do. Fire. And, uh. What is it? That you do. You do water. You do earth. And you do now light. I think. No, you don't. Clementine actually does lightning, so that's good. Okay. I'll switch out back and forth, see what the difference is in battle. Well, you know, I think there's a way to do it, which I don't think most games allow that. But either way... So let's see, where are we going? Alright. Others grandson, strangers. Hey, do you want to play tag with me? Sure. Okay, let me get ready then. It's a simple game of tag. One of my pals will be it, and you'll have to do the to to do it. All you have to do is tell him to get away from him. If you can avoid being tagged for a long time. I'll give you money for that amount of time. And you want to quit? Just come see me, okay? Do you want to start? Start. Oh, that sucked. Yippee! You got card. You didn't get caught for four seconds, so I'll give you four gold. If that was your best shot, don't bother trying again. No, I don't want to get... Why don't you get... Just, you didn't warn me there was going to be, like, two of them. You said one of your companions. Okay. I don't like with people. Come back later. Uh, you know what? We ain't gonna do that again. Huh. Ooh, you don't have enough guts to take on a kid, huh? All for another lame like you. If you say so. I mean, jeez. That was kind of lame anyway. I just thought I would try this for, for, for some giggles. Mrs. Messer Baruckers in the basement office. Okay. I says, all I can do to help Master Baruch, who's very busy, is to make a good cup of tea and serve it to him, along with my great million gallowed smile. Okay. Something's bowling in the pot. You know what's strange about this game? It's proper to say that the financial wealthy are the only ones who are rich. No, true spiritual wealth and happiness is derived from the joy of helping the poor and the weak. Our hearts must be open enough to care about others as much as you would want them to care about you. Anyway, that's not what was strange about this. But, I mean, the healing point in this game... The only one time you actually see anything like that is at the very beginning. It's kind of strange, because, I mean, you know, I think it's more of a, I would say, a hint. There are a lot of household goods here. It looks like they are contribu contributions for dis disadvantaged kids. I wonder if he'll tell us that we can't steal it. I guess I shouldn't open other people's stuff. That. Eh. Okay. So that pretty much nothing usual up there. Ah, here we go. Leon says, Farouk is in the back room. Follow me. What kind of person is Farouk? Weren't you listening to me at all? Well, all I know is that he's the Oberon Club rep who's in charge of the Cavalese area. Then what is it? 
So what's Baruch Fund anyway? I mean, what's the Baruch, Baruch Fund anyway? What does that have to do with you? Well, nothing, but can I ask? I don't have time to waste my birthday space on any unnecessary things. Ooh, this guy's very, he's still rude. It's a non-profit foundation established by Baruch to focus on charitable activities. Um, okay. Did you get that, little oh, man? What's a foundation? It's a corporation established for seed money. Or trust fund is provided by individuals and groups that exist as a legal entity. Um, okay. Did you get it? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> That's exactly why I said it's unnecessary to explain it to him. Let's go. I'm sorry, Rudy. Well, it's okay. You don't know any better. You're a country boy. That's harsh. Stem, don't worry. You're right. Atomony's blessing doesn't discriminate. Even people from the countryside like you are treated equally. Philia, thanks for the trying, but the words don't make me feel any better. Thank you, at least somebody. I mean, damn, what are you talking about? All oh, this religion on junk, and nobody cares. I mean, no offense to religion, but come on. Oh, man. Anyway. Ugh. <laughs> I'm really sorry. No, no, I'm not blaming you. Please don't worry about it. Wow. What's with Mary? What is she doing? I never really noticed that before. <laughs> anyway. Rook says, Leon. Good to see you. What is it, B? Been, what has it been? Half a year? Well, now you brought a lot of company today. They're not worth paying attention to at all. Hey, why do you keep treating us like dirt? Say, are you really in need of attention or something? No one said that you could talk. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Baruch Sangram. As if that makes a difference anyway, but anyway. I'm the I'm Oberon Corp's regional manager for the Cloverleaf region. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Stan Oberon. Nice to meet you too. Hmm. I can see that you're a man of great potential despite your youth. A diamond in the roof, so to speak. I have a feeling that great things await you, son. Bro, enough. All of this will go to his head. It won't, you son of a beep. That's what I would say if that was my reaction. Anyway. <laughs> well, it seems Leon thinks highly of you. What? What do you mean by that? It gives you a hard time because he thinks you are as strong as him. Right, Leon? Was that supposed to be a joke? If it was, I'm not laughing. I didn't think it was very, it was funny either. Now all of you wouldn't consider a low, lower skilled person as your rival, would you? Jeez. This is nonsense. Of course. He'll never admit it. He's always been like that, but I suppose being competitive is not necessarily a bad personality trait. Well, allow me to apologize for Leon's lack of refinement in the manners department. I hope you all, you'll all get along. Okay. Anyway. It's hard to say. Brook, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I didn't come here for all this silly talk. Knowing you, there had to be another reason. Is there any, anything strange happened around here lately? Hmm. Let's see. Eileen from Fitzgold sent me a report. Fitzgold? What kind of... What kind of report? Apparently, the Lynn's transport ships are being attacked frequently by, by a mysterious pirate fleet. A mysterious pirate fleet? 
Yeah, that's right. Although we have no information on their identity, their target is clearly our company's lens shipments. I see. Did you hear anything about the Eye of Atomani? The Eye of Atomani? Oh no, please. Is that some kind of a sick joke? It's not a joke. The Eye of Atomani fell into the hands of a high priest named Lydon. And we heard that he was heading this way. I didn't hear that. Did anybody hear that? Wait. I haven't heard anything like that. But I'll start investigating on my end. Maybe people in the shipping business might know something. Could you go to the harbor and check that lead out? Understood. We'll go there immediately. Do what you can on your end. Yes, I'll do my best. By the way, take the things that are in the boxes over there. I think they'll be useful to I actually didn't notice them. I think I did the first time, but I forgot anyway. The first time I mean playing through this game anyway. So there you go. A cookbook. Mary says, this is... What is it? Oh my, what is... I mean, what, what is it? Oh, a cookbook. I don't get to see many of these. Adventuring and cooking aren't exactly compatible activities. I kind of feel nostalgic. I used to make this dish all the time. Mary, did you get your memory back? No. No, I don't think so. But I'm sure I've made it before. I know this. The other ingredients, the preparation, its taste, maybe. All right, oh my. All right, all right, all right. It might it may be a way, of, way for you to get your memories back. Why is that? Are you stupid, oh my? Your abuse is really starting to annoy me, you know. Isn't this just a specialty of Fandaria? Oh my. That's a good point. I hope you get your memories back soon. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I do too. So basically... Yeah, I don't know what it means at this point. I guess apparently we can start cooking on our own soon. I don't know. You got C counter. And what else? You got food sack M. Whatever that means. Probably means we can actually upgrade our store space. I have no clue. Oh, hey, we got 2,000. Sweet. Okay. Maybe we did only have it 200 at first, but now we have 2,000, which is good. But for what at this point, I couldn't tell you because even I don't know that. I'll check around to see where light on went. People in the shipping business may know something. Why don't you see if you can get any information from them? So pretty much, um, Roti, what are you doing? All right, all right. Just hang on a minute. Well, yeah. Well. Well, this is. Uh, oof. Oof, wait a minute. Found it. I mean, found it. Found it? That's... Not yet. Not yet. Talk about the dang thing. Got it. Rotate. That's stealing. Run. Oh, dear, this is where I draw the line. Oh, come on. I was just kidding. Grumble, 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 grumble. <laughs> What the dealio was that all about? It was kind of silly, wasn't it? I don't think I've actually seen that point, but I have heard that that silly noise. Okay, so you just say the same thing, nothing about us. There's a huge safe here. Probably not worth even checking. Let's see, is there anything up here on this shelf? A book of black magic, cool. Ooh, wow. You want to read hell yeah? Shame on you, shame on you. Philly, I don't know, you've got it the wrong way. Oh, why not? What's wrong with black magic? Jeez, people. You, you, sh you shouldn't have fooled around with black magic. I mean, talk magic. I'm sorry. You have to be punished. What a oh, please. Here we go. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. 
Okay, so she didn't do anything to me. <laughs> Over dark magic? Are you kidding me? Do you have realized how dark magic can be actually useful? It's much more than you think. A lot of has walking in here and it's like that day. Blah, 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 blah. So either way, it's about all we can do. So pretty much, I don't know what to do at this point either. Yeah, I think I went into this building before I wanted to go talk to him. Babysitter. Hey, don't come barging in someone's house uninvited. What is that supposed to mean? Goo goo goo! Hey! You're from out of town, aren't you? Don't touch the baby. Whatever, lady. Jeez. Something's blowing the pot. Well, maybe you shouldn't leave the door wide open, dude. Seriously. I mean, I'm no expert or anything, but maybe you shouldn't leave the door open. Wide open, where anybody can just walk in. I mean, am I not correct about that? <laughs> Come on. So, either way, we're gonna go back here, I guess, and start talking to people. But we'll do that in the next episode. Alright. Until then, later. Bye-bye. See you next time.